Okay. So yeah, there's a mid going on, but there's just some time for it to conclude. So we got time to we gotta start the quest actually. Um lock like those. All right. the onigiri and rice cakes your mother prepared. Don't worry. I have them all. Clean the last few days. Take care of yourselves while I'm out. And make sure you remind mom to take her medicine on time. If running the store gets a bit too much, take some time off and wait for me to return. Oh, Yoi Mia. Your mother and I got so worried when we heard that you were going so far abroad. We've never left the country. So we don't know how outlanders might view us Inazumans, or if they'd even be willing to speak to us. Oh, relax. Outlanders are friendly and warm. Look at Toma from the Yashiro Commission. He's originally from Mondstadt, but everyone thinks he's a top tier guy. A mop tier? What mop? Oh, do you mean the broken one at home? I just fixed it today, actually. No! I said top, not mop! <sighs> you know, Toma even sent us some wine from his homeland not too long ago. <sighs> we haven't heard this kind of friendly banter in a while, huh? Oh, hey you two! It's been a long time, hasn't it? You're as peppy as ever. <laughs> I'm excited because I'm going on a trip soon. Many things have changed. Lots of outlanders have come to Inazuma, and lots of Inazumans have gone out as well. You two have been adventuring all over to that, so you might not be able to understand, but for us, this is a long-awaited chance to go out and fulfill our dreams. That's right, the Sokoku Decree is gone. Ah, oh, I remember you two. You're Yoimiya's friends, yes? Word of your incredible accomplishments has spread throughout Inazuma. My daughter's a big fan of yours. She said she'd love to be like you two. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Who's never dreamed of becoming a hero? You've done some heroic feats yourself. Oh, thanks. But I'm just your average artisan. The quiet life suits me better. But if an opportunity presents itself, why not try to show your stuff, right? All right. Did you two come over today to order some fireworks? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I got carried away. Well, I'm gone. Dad's in charge of making fireworks. You've seen how skilled he is, so there's nothing to worry about. Oh, no. We aren't here to do business or anything. We just happen to be passing by. Oh, so we're all here with time to spare? What a treat! In that case, let's chat some more. I'm not in a rush, anyway. Sure! So, where are you planning to go? No clue. Huh? <laughs> I say that, but I do have a travel goal. To see Tibet's grandest meteor shower. But I don't know when or where it'll happen. So, I figured I can search while I travel. That's it? No details? 
Nothing? Uh, not right now. Since this meteor shower was originally something like a family legend. A long time ago, the Naginaharas were inspired to create new fireworks after watching such a meteor shower. Dad says that inspiration is a combination of what you see and what you know. Different people can see the same thing, but have different thoughts. Inazuma today is completely different from how it was in the past. If I can see this meteor shower, I'm sure I'll be able to come up with a new kind of firework. Meteors and forward, they do have some similarities. I know, right? Of course, my main reason is that I won't go and look outside Inazuma. <laughs> no need to be shy about it. You gotta play hard when you get the chance. You know, you're right, Paimon. Is it just me, or have you gotten wiser since we first met? <laughs> Paimon loves being friends with you since you say such nice things. Since you're going out to play regardless, I'm gonna make Sumeru the first stop. Sumeru? I've heard of it. It has a ton of trees, a super impressive school, and a massive desert. I think she's probably gonna start a wildfire. Uh, there's also a division of the school that specializes in studying stars. Mm. Yep, and everyone there is really smart, so Paimon's sure you'll get some answers from them about the meteor shower. Really? But won't research people make fun of me or something if I ask them about a legend? We won't know if something's real or not unless we ask. Don't worry, we got solid connections in there. Well, he does anyway. Wouldn't I be taking up your time, though? I doubt this is in your schedule. I mean, this, this way your parents can be at ease. I'll be your guide. Exactly! Relax, Yarnia. You've helped us plenty of times before. <laughs> Alright, then I accept your offer. Let's have some fun at Sumeru! Dad! You can have more peace of mind now that I'm traveling with them, right? Hmm? Oh, yes. Your mother and I will be much more at ease. Remember, you two also need to take care of yourselves. I'll be back soon. Okay, let's head to Rito and catch a boat there. Uh, Peter's message. Message. Um, fiber bridge. No, no. Uh, you. Stay safe and have fun. Mm hmm. Okay. There. You bore a passenger ship bound for Ormos enjoying the lovely ocean views along the way. Emilia listens with rapt attention as you tell her of the events following the Vision Hunt Decree and of your various adventures in Sumeru. But that's like, what, a year ago? And the long voyage ends before you know it. Okay. So, this is Sumeru? That tree's huge! Is the port built on top of it? And this place is amazing! It's way bigger than Rito's port! There are also a lot more stores here. Oh, there's more cool stuff for you to see! Don't you worry! Lord Ormos also took my birth away when I first arrived. This place is awesome! I had heard people describe it, but nothing beats seeing a place for yourself. If I hadn't seen the port with my own eyes, I could never have imagined such a place. So, the school you were talking about, the Academia, is it here? Nope, we have to head north from here and follow the river to reach Sumeru City. 
Sumeru City, huh? I guess it's even more impressive than here. They each have their own highlights. This city has an even bigger tree. It's a land of the rain tree. This is uh, the tree. Even bigger? Oh, I wonder if it's as grand as Sanganomiya Shrine. Whatever the case, why don't we go to Sumeru City? Oh, I'm so excited that I don't even know what I should be doing anymore. The important thing about going on a trip is to enjoy yourself. You don't have to think so hard. How about we walk around here with you? I'm just worried that if we don't get down to business soon, we'll take up too much of your time. <laughs> but if you insist, then let's look around. Welcome to Akara Crabs. Mm. Feel free to have a look around. Wow, what are these? They're so cute. This is our current bestseller, the Aranara Carving. Their designs are based on the fairy tales that circulate amongst children, so they're very popular with them. Miss, are you from Inazuma? Well, this would be a great gift for you to bring back home. Oh, I know about Aranara. You two told me about them on the ship. I didn't think they'd be so cute. No wonder the kids like them. Oh, they're all so pretty. Let me take a better look. I am knew Yarmira would like this kind of thing. But even she might have a hard time seeing a real Aranara. Mm, they don't like mean terms. That's why we told her they're from fairy tales. Yeah. Sorry, Yoimiya, but we need to keep our promise to the Aranara. That's that. Baimon doesn't think Yoimiya would mind too much. Her world's already chock full of imaginary creatures. I think I'll get this one. Oh, that one. And the other two that you showed me earlier. Uh, you're buying that many? Yep. I'm going to give them out to Saika and the others. They're going to love them. Oh, and these carvings can also be used as prizes and matches against the Arataki gang. They also look great lined up by the window. Think about it. You wake up, and the first thing you see are these adorable critters. When they brighten up your entire day. Uh, let me go some of the costs. They start your day. Let me go some. <laughs> okay, thanks. In that case, you take your pick too. I'll go with this one that I don't know. For some okay. reason, Paimon thinks it kind of looks like you, Yoimiya. Hmm. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. Hello, Nara Paimon. My name is Aramiya. <laughs> is that how they talk? Hope I remember correctly. <laughs> that was really good. Wow, great memory. We only talked about Aranara that one time on the boat. That's because they're so interesting. I'm pretty good at remembering those kinds of things. Mm, could we package up this up for Of course. Armia? Thank you for your patronage. You all are an entertaining bunch. I hope you enjoy your time here in Sumeru. <sighs> That's about it for Fort Ormos. Next up is Sumeru City. All right, let's get to it. These cursed scholars. Thanks for your patronage. Hope you enjoy them. Okay, we just report them on. Wow, this market is even busier than the one in Port Ormos. This is Treasure Street. Up from here is the Academia. Oh, and in that tree trunk is the Grand Bazaar. They're both pretty special places. I just saw a group of people come down, and they were all wearing the same outfit. Is that the Academia's uniform? 
That's right. They also wear hats with different designs, depending on which darshan they're in. For example, we'll be looking for someone from Wetalahist. They know a lot about stars and stuff. Does this mean that you need uniforms like those to get in and out of the academia? Uh, Paimon doesn't think so. Is something more than you, Gamiya? Um, won't we stick out if we go in like this? So even you get shy, huh? No, no, that's not what I meant. <sighs> Let's pretend you're an academia student, hard at work. Mm -hmm. Then in comes a bunch of outlanders in strange clothes who gawk and run around everywhere. Oh, Paimon kind of gets what you mean. It would be a bit distraction, won't we? My, you can try the matter's attention. No, huh. I don't think we have to be too self-conscious, but it's still something to keep in mind. Why don't we look around here first? I've been wanting to see the Zuberic Theater anyway. As for the academia, let's go once I get myself a set of Sumeru style clothes. Alright, but Paimon thinks you're overthinking it. We'll find you a good tailor later. Nilu might have some good recommendations. <laughs> Sounds good. If we can watch a performance of hers while we're at it, that'd be even better. Alright, I'll be looking around here. I'm leaving the meteor shower inquiry to you two. Thanks a lot. No problem. We'll be right back. I won't go too far. And don't worry about me getting bored. I'm an expert at finding ways to pass time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Also be rained on. Time to go. But there is a new outfit for her, is there? Uh, no. Authority Sage was Azar. It was probably having the time right now. Paimon thinks Ohatham might know something, but Paimon <laughs> doesn't want to talk to him. Oh, why don't we just ask around? Maybe we'll run into someone from Watawahis. Looks like you two are in the pickle. Why not consult someone who always tells you everything she knows? Right, I'm cute. I'm here to meet with some researchers, but when I saw you two looking so troubled, I decided to follow. Looks like I showed up just in time. Okay, we might as well tell you. We have a friend who's come to Sumeru. Mmm, so I hit the body of Nia and the meteor shower. Mm, I see. For the next meteor shower. Um, my answer is going to be even more of a disappointment. You may have heard that the stars are related to people's fates. Mm. Yeah, lots of times. If the stars dictate destiny, then do you think that destiny is something that is unchanging and always follows predicted outcomes? Eh, you have a point. If that were so, Retalahis will have achieved one of their ultimate goals. According to current Retalahis research, a meteor shower is a celestial phenomenon that occurs due to the interference between many intricate fates. Their appearance is highly random. Some have tried coming up with ways to predict their occurrence, but the results are less than reliable. This is a far cry from folk tales that claim meteor showers come at certain times, and bless all who witness them. So, 
You mean we won't be able to see one? I'm sorry to disappoint you two. If we tell this to Yoimiya, she'll be so disappointed. Meteors aren't stars. Okay. She's been so excited this entire time. This was our trip brought for her. What now? There has to be something we can do. Mm, yes, Yoimiya is always genuine with everyone. Eh? She does her best to protect the dreams of children. Just like the time she hang out with the kids on the beach and talk to them about the great Eugene and Yukai. Uh, and now, when she's the one who wants to say something, her fire has to be extinguished like this. Are you two okay? It seems the news hit harder than I expected. Paimon just thinks this isn't fair to Yoimiya. You people should be repaid for their good deeds. I get it. From how you described her, I can see that she is a kind and caring soul. So, why don't we take a page out of her book and protect her dreams with a well-intentioned lie? Oh? How do we do that? It'll be a story about a meteor shower. You'll accompany her on a brief journey, do a bit of work here and there, and then receive the meteor shower as a reward. Oh, well, I can't summon a real meteor shower, but if it's in a dream, I can help out. Oh, oh that would be great, Nahida! Thank you so much. Compared to what you've done for me, this is nothing. Use the meteor shower as a pretext to take you and me all around Sumeru. Then, when you're ready, blow this. I'll tell the Arunara in advance. Once they hear the whole story, I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Mm. Huh. Then the dream will probably be like the one we had in the Avidia Forest, when we first met Hapasia. That was a real shocker. It was hard to tell that we were even in a dream. Yeah, only later did we realize that. Once the meteor shower ends and you all awaken from the dream, she'll probably realize what had happened. If you tell her the truth at that point, she should be a lot less disappointed. Mm-hmm. Paimon thinks this is the best way to simulate the meteor shower. Thanks, Nahida. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Still, you two should get this story straight before you join up with your friend. If not, she's gonna see right through everything. I never speak, True. so that's okay. Let's discuss it on the way. So what we need to do is to make you and Mia believe that the meteor shower is really happening and be super convincing at how we sell it. Complete well, some challenges, they reap the rewards. Hmm. If Paimon wanted to go see a meteor shower, the things Paimon would focus on the most would be... The start time, the perfect vintage... Well, well mm, yeah, I'd say the start time is more important because... If you're not, if you're at perfect vantage point, but at the wrong place, we'll see. Yes, exactly. We'll say we're trying to figure these two things out, but we'll actually be bringing Yoimiya around to see the sights and enjoy local food. Oh, well, easier said than done. We can't be too strict with our pretext, but we can't be sloppy with it either, or she'll see through it. <sighs> It'd be best if we could take a unique approach to making it fantastical, just like a real fairy tale. Hmm. This is gonna be hard. This reminds me of the plane of Timia when star symbolizing wishes appear in the sky. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Um, don't people also talk about wishing on a shooting star? If we used wishes as the center of our story. I mean, they're sure something summoned by people's wishes. Whoa, that sounds great! Alright then, we need a specific wishing spot or else the sky would be full of meteor showers. We need a certain device to find this location. Just like how Ritalhist 
requires their observational instruments. And then, while we're supposedly finding or making this device, we'll go around and have fun and eat good food! <laughs> this is shaping up to be the perfect plot! After all, the device can be anything, and the location can be wherever! As long as we get you and Mia to enter the dream at night, things will be fine! You're getting smarter. Your brain always works so well when food comes up. There's nothing wrong with that. You should know Paimon pretty well by now. Oh, all right, all right, let's go. Yami is probably sick of waiting for us. So many regrets. Thanks so much. If it weren't for your help, I would have gotten lost already. It's no problem. I'll be heading home then. Just a minute. Wait. This is for you. This is an r, &R carving I bought in Port Ormos. I heard it's very popular with kids, so here, have one. It's alright. I didn't do much, really. It's fine. Take it. Come on. Just look at its big, happy smile. You can display it at home or hang it on your wheelchair. It'll cheer you up. That might sound silly to you. Like, why do you have to be happy just because it is? But that's the magic of a smile. If you don't believe me, try it. Look at it a few times every day and you'll understand. Actually, I feel like I already do. You love talking and... You love smiling, too. I just don't understand why you're so... positive. I've never met anyone like you before. Sorry, I'm not very good with words. But since you say so, I'll accept your gift. Want me to take you home? It's okay. I can head back myself. Charge in the lecture videos. Oh, great timing, you two. Who is that kid? Oh, her? Her name is Abine. I saw that she was looking quite forlorn, so I wanted to make sure she wasn't feeling left out or alone. She was pretty shy at first, but I explained that I just arrived in Sumeru and had uh, gotten lost, so I needed someone to help guide me. She agreed, and we made our way back here. There were so many paths here, and they're all twisty, turny, and up and down. It's hard navigating through them all. Did she tell you it was her mind? No, she didn't want to talk about that, and I didn't ask. I get the feeling that'll bring up some unhappy memories. But if I had to guess, it's probably because she hasn't been able to explore the city for quite some time. All she said was that she's sick and doesn't know when she'll get better. Whenever we passed by busy crowds, she kept turning her head and taking in all the things around her. At first, I thought she was afraid that someone might bump into us. But when I caught a glimpse in her eyes, I only saw yearning and a deep sense of loss. It's hard not to be down when something like that happens to you. At first, she didn't really want to say anything to me at all. She just gave me yes and no answers. But what I really saw was just another child and asked all the same things everyone else did about rugs, spices, cooking, and the differences between here and home. Eventually, I think I earned her trust. <laughs> there were many things that she liked in the city, after all. I say that, but honestly, you two probably caught the majority of what she said. Mm, she had already relaxed her guard, weren't you? Eh, gotta start somewhere. Oh, by the way, did you guys learn anything about the meteor shower? You bet we did! Big time! You're in luck, Yoimiya! You'll be able to see the meteor shower from Sumeru! Really? <laughs> That's great! If I had gone looking for it myself, I'm sure I would have missed it. Well, not necessarily. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Meteor showers appear in response to people's wishes. They respond to wishes? Huh, I've never heard that one before. 
So it's not that you wish upon shooting stars, but that wishes summon them? <laughs> In that case, I was born ready. Don't you worry. Are you talking about how you want to use the meteor shower as inspiration for fireworks? That's why I'm here, but I wouldn't call that my wish. I don't think that alone will call the stars down for us, right? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, she's adding her own spin onto this. If that's the case, then we'll have to practice wishing a little. Can you two come with me? Let me put my thoughts together and tell me if you understand. As for what my wish is... <laughs> it's a secret for now. How about I change the scenery? Let's go someplace that better fits the mood. Yeah, and we'll take the opportunity to show you some views you've definitely never seen before. More places to see? All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, mm, let's heal first. Oh, the ring. Wow! Is that what you two were talking about? Amazing! It's huge! Well, wait, it's not going to suddenly start moving, right? Relax, it's completely still, and it's been ages! Move it. We That's did move. true, it's green from all the overgrowth on it. All right, let's go. <laughs> now, this will make for quite the story. I was wondering, have you seen your sister yet? Yeah. Yep, but she said that she'd meet us at the end of our journey. And then she left. I see. It seems she has her own things to worry about. But it's all right. At least you were able to talk. How did she look? Was she doing well? Had she changed in any way? Well, according to him, nothing's really changed. He's hanging in there. <laughs> that sure is reassuring. I believe that you two will come to an understanding once your journey is over. You are siblings, after all. Time to go. Fun and almost forgot about that. Before I left Inazuma, many people heard that I was looking for a meteor shower. So they told me that they wanted to make wishes. I told them that they could write their wishes down on paper. So I ended up collecting several dozens of wishes. Whoa, that many? So you want to help convey all those wishes? That's part of it, but more importantly, I've been wondering why people link meteor showers and wishes in the first place. After a lot of thought, I think I figured it out. People use fireworks to remember their most precious memories, and these memories sparkle and shine each time the fireworks fly. In other words, 
fireworks symbolize the past. And shooting stars make people think of wishes, because wishes carry people's brilliant hopes and expectations for the future. One represents the past, and the other the future. They both bloom in the sky, but have completely different meanings behind them. It's really beautiful, isn't it? I'm not seeing the logic there. Very true. It's clear to me that I'm not the only one holding this belief. I'm sure my ancestor had similar views. I think that's how he drew inspiration from the meteor shower. His method was a wish of sorts to begin with. To join the past and future together and combine their beauty. At first, I wasn't completely serious about using the opportunity to travel abroad to see a meteor shower. But it became something like a mission once everyone had handed their wishes over to me. You and me, uh... Hmm, well said. I need a time on thought you needed practice. Huh? Uh, that was fine? You both understand what I'm trying to say? Honestly, I thought it was pretty messy. I mean, these are all abstract topics that evoke a sense of admiration that's hard to put into words. Then you ha have ever considered that if you can't find it, perhaps it didn't exist? Traveler? I did consider that possibility, and I won't lie. It'd be a real bummer if that were the case. I know that's the most realistic conclusion, and it's not like luck has to be on my side. But there's a premise to every legend, and that's belief. If I didn't take the step, it's not like a meteor shower would just rain upon me either. I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't have known that they respond to wishes, and I wouldn't have seen all these beautiful sights in Sumeru. So I'm looking forward to the rest of our journey. Every single step of it. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. Paimon just thinks you're doing a good job with the wishes. Now we just need one other thing. Like we said earlier, we're gonna need to build a device. Uh, we need to look for the first R in Samara. Yep, and once we use it to create an observation device, we can find where the meteor shower will be. I see. The purest ore. We can go somewhere else to look for it. Hmm. Then why don't we go back to Sumeru City and ask the blacksmith? I chatted with him a bit when the bean was showing me around. He seems really knowledgeable. I bet he'll know something. Uh, but wouldn't we be bothering him? No one knows more about ore than a blacksmith. true let's go <laughs> i wish we could fly over you can't have a bunch what are we gonna do if we really ask the blacksmith he's gonna give us funny looks for sure we just have to roll the bunches <sighs> you're right paima will do her best not to say anything wrong at first paima felt bad about keeping you and me in the dark but now, it feels like we made the right decision. I want her to see the meteor shower, I want her to have her cake in it too. Yep, that's why we're doing all this. You'll briefly explain the purpose of your visit to the blacksmith. You want to use the purest material to create a star observation device? Huh. That pair of specially crafted lenses should do the job. However, purest material is too vague. It'd be better if you were more specific. 
you have any alternatives for us? Firstly, this all sounds rather, uh, strange. I never heard that legend about meteor showers. You sure you're not just messing with me? Sorry for the trouble, but we are kind of messing with someone. Sorry, Inazuma's pretty far, so maybe some key information got lost across the ocean. Still, I want to at least give it a shot. Even though the information's vague, can you help us at all? Well, sure. Why don't I use some materials that might fit the bill and create up a mock-up device for you? That'd be great! Thanks so much for your help! No need to be so polite. You're my customer. Also, this kind of project is a nice change of pace. Using his welcome skills, let's make some sort of Maybe I can just pick a random one. It's not like we're really gonna use it anyway. <sighs> no, that won't do. I don't think I can justify that to myself. If these were for ordinary use, then it'd be acceptable. Barely. But if you want a product that is top-notch, this is far from ideal. Then what do we do? Yeah, what now? Don't worry too much about the material. If you think it'll be difficult to obtain, we can get it for you. I want to try all our options. Hmm. Since we're on the topic of legends, allow me to tell you one about blacksmiths. All of us in Sumeru know about this legendary forging material. It possesses excellent properties that are matched by no other. Using it to forge something is every blacksmith's dream. Some spend their entire lives searching for this material in vain, while others have it in their possession, yet never use it in their forge. Huh? Why's that? That's because the material is too precious. Many believe themselves unworthy to work with it due to a lack of skill. In other words, not only does it represent the pinnacle of material quality, but also the culmination of a smith's skills. I constantly practice and hone myself so when I do encounter this material, we won't pass each other by like two ships in the night. So, you mean that it symbolizes dreams? Dreams, inspiration, obsession, focus. Call it what you want. But if you take it to symbolize purity, then I believe it is your goal as well. We call it Earthstone, but in truth, neither I nor my colleagues have ever seen it. It's more like a goal, and also a warning. This fits perfectly with the tale of the meteor shower! Then, why don't we go looking for it? Uh, is it even something we can find? We should at least try. Trade is a fun excursion. Exactly! We're chasing down a legend after all. What's true or not doesn't matter as much. If we do find it, that's a big win for us. And if we don't, maybe we can still find something that could be used as a substitute. When you put it like that... Hey, excuse me. If I might intrude, have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Yeah, she and I were hanging out not that long ago. What's we the matter? travel across the country. Do you not know where she though? went? She hasn't returned home yet. Huh? I wonder why. When we split up, she said she was heading home. Oh dear. Oh. I'm sorry if I seem worked up. I'm Avine's mother. She's been depressed ever since she fell ill and was forced to use a wheelchair. I'm concerned about her mental health. If she does something reckless because she's not in a good state of mind? It's okay, don't worry. We'll help you find her. I can't say that I know her very well, but I think she just has a lot on her mind and is trying to come to terms with her feelings. That's reassuring. <sighs> she doesn't want to tell me anything, probably because she thinks nothing she says would make either of us feel better. But I can't tell what she's thinking if we don't communicate. I'm worried that I'll panic and make things worse by saying the wrong thing. 
don't worry. I'm sure she has a reason for wanting some space to herself at the moment. We should just be open and understanding with her. But that does bring me to a question I've been mulling over in my head. Do you think there's something else going on in her life? Not that I'm aware of. I just know the illness was a big blow to her. She's always been physically active. She absolutely loved to run and jump, and she told me that she wanted to become a great adventurer someday. But after she became ill, she lost strength in both legs. She hasn't been able to stand since. We've consulted with countless doctors, but they're all stumped. They said all she can do is slowly recuperate. No one can say for sure if she'll ever stand or walk again. She believes that her legs will never recover, and her dreams of seeing the world would be forever shattered. <sighs> it's... This was all too sudden. Too unfair. Okay, I understand. I'll find a way to bring her around. Sorry, but it looks like we'll have to put our meteor shower search on hold. Uh, I'll just save this one part. We're coming with you! Mr. Blacksmith, do you remember seeing a child in a wheelchair? Sorry, afraid not. I've been keeping my eyes on my anvil. But you're looking for someone, I suggest dropping in on Sadeg. He's my supplier. If anyone's aware of the comings and goings in Treasure Street, it'd be him. Do you know where we can find him? He's probably resting just over there. It's not far. Got it. Thanks for your help with everything. We'll go over there and see what we can find out. Don't worry, I don't think she's gone too far. Thank you so much. He and I will continue asking around in the city. If you find her, please, let me know. Thanks again for helping. I'll keep an eye out for you. If I see her, I'll try to keep her here with me. Time to go. Excuse me, have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Hmm. Now that you mention it, that does ring a bell. I was moving some boxes at the time and I saw her pushing her wheelchair so hard she was panting. I asked if she needed help, but she didn't respond, as if she didn't hear me. Sounds like there really was something on her mind. Yeah, that was the impression I got, too. What's wrong? Did she go missing? Yes, so we're looking for her. I see. That's rather worrying. I know. I'll ask my friends and see if they know anything. She went that way. If you ask people as you go, hopefully you'll track her down. Okay, thanks. If you find out anything, don't forget to tell the people with the green scarves. <laughs> You mean the core of 30. Don't worry, I got it. Hmm, <laughs> Excuse me, uh, we're looking for a child in a wheelchair? Oh. I remember her. She went that way not too long ago. I asked her what she was doing. It's my job, after all. She just said she had something important to do and didn't want to be disturbed. That seems a little weird. Whatever the case, she left the city. If you follow that road, you should be able to find her. Gotcha. Thanks a lot. If that's all, then, I'll be continuing my patrol. Time to go. <laughs> oh. 
help you. Oh, don't you know? Risky. Okay. Hello there. Did a child in a wheelchair pass this way? A wheelchair? Oh, so that's what it was. I didn't get a good look, but something going pretty fast went sliding down that slope over there. Mm. Oh no, how dangerous. For sure. There's terrain of all sorts outside the city, and if that was the kid... Got it. It was over there, right? We'll be going now. Thanks. Go, go quickly. Any delay could be costly. Yeah, I mean, it's not like there were people here that could have seen her come fast Time to go. and try to stop. care of her. Can you two look for her wheelchair? No problem. We'll be right back. It's okay. You're all right now. Ravine fell off, the witch would have. As Ravine fell off, the witch would have kept going. It should be somewhere up ahead. Those are not your tracks. Let's do somewhere else. Time to go. Uh, it must have slowed down, came in far now. Turn the wheelchair to All Evan. right, we're in luck. Looks like the wheelchair's still working. Hmm? Oh, yeah. That's, That's good. good. <sighs> or else my family would have to pay for another one. You feeling any better? I know that must have been really scary for you. Mm. It's all right. You're safe now. We'll bring you back. Uh... Do you feel okay telling me why you had to come here, despite the risks? If you don't want anyone else to know, we'll definitely keep it a secret. That's right! You can trust us! The Aranara carving. My bestest friend. He went missing. The carving? You mean the one I gave you? Yeah. My illness is really bad. It's not just my legs. I've forgotten a lot of stuff, too. I used to love running. I loved the feeling it gave me, and the sound of wind rushing by my ears. But the longer I sit, the cloudier those memories get. I'm starting to forget how it feels to love something. When I saw that wood carving, I remembered that I once had a best friend. He'd always run with me. Wait, was he an Aranara? Um, 
Paimon meant that it couldn't have been an R and R, right? They're just fairy tale characters. But they aren't. They're real. They couldn't be more real. Hey, I understand. Okay, let's calm down. Tell us what happened so we can help you. Sorry. I got carried away. And I don't have any evidence to show you. Everyone says you can't see Aranara anymore once you become an adult. You have to say goodbye to your Aranara friends forever. I can't remember his name. Or how he looked like. And soon... I'll even forget that he used to run with me. I don't want to become an adult. Not like this. I understand now. When you saw that carving, you were reminded of your friend. You came out here to look for him and remember that friendship. No matter how difficult things got. Isn't that right? Yes. I, I want to see him. I want to tell him that I I'm not angry with him. And that I didn't want to break our promise. But then... This happened. I'm not angry with him. Not at all. Cheer up. Something beautiful has happened. Beautiful? That's right. You remembered something about the Aranara, haven't you? Once you start remembering more things, you'll be able to find your friend again. And I'll help you. Yoimiya... Does this mean that you can also see our Nara? Sorry, I don't know if I can. I've only just arrived in Sumeru. Maybe I haven't seen one yet, or maybe I can't see them at all. But that doesn't matter. Whether I can see them or not doesn't change my belief that you can. <gasps> what do we do? Shreemon really wants to help her. She didn't deserve any of this. Not her illness, or being separated from her friend, but... We'll help too, but before that... What? You and me, can we talk? Huh? Me? Sure. Um, sorry. Wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. What's wrong? You sure, look so serious all of a sudden. Do you really believe in the honor? Oh, did you think I was overpromising back there? Don't worry, I have experience with this kind of thing. To her, reuniting with her RNR friend is the result. But recapturing her past joy and belief in herself is the process. And that's where our help is needed. I'm guessing that her sudden illness made her feel like she may not be able to realize her dreams anymore. It also made it difficult for her to hold on to the happy memories and dreams she had. Everyone has their own imagination. After some chance coincidence, she met Aranara. So as long as we help her rediscover that same feeling she once had, her Aranara will return naturally. Oh, so that's what you're thinking! Adults only want to believe in objective reality. In doing so, they may unintentionally do harm to the innocent fantasies of children. But, I think there are ways to get even subjective things back. So, how about it? Wanna help me out? <laughs> Looks like all this excitement made you forget your original goal again. <sighs> if we didn't do anything to help, I wouldn't be able to watch a meteor shower, even if it appeared right now. And would the stars really want their caller to have such a heartless soul? I understand. Don't worry, I don't doubt your reasoning. It's just... What are you trying to say? Because... we can actually summon the Aranara. <laughs> You're a good narrator, Mia. I'll apologize to them later. R really? Just watch! We have some tricks up our sleeves. You know the village called Fourth Aranara. Aranara.
Oh, very unexpected. Lord of Danger did not say that it would be a strange narrow. Our Nara trusts Golden Nara. If that were not so, I would not have appeared. I'm sorry. There were circumstances, I'm afraid. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Sorry, uh, let me explain. I know that you only want to be seen by people you trust. It's rash of me to butt in. Oh. But this girl once had an Aranara as her best friend, and they haven't met in a very long time. She's been quite ill, and her world has been turned upside down. It's been so long since she's been able to see her friend that even her memory of him has become hazy. Parting with a friend like that is too sad, and she never wanted that to happen. Mm, I remember Nara being a our shiny. All Nara grow up, and when they do, they will say goodbye to their young selves. All Nara want to prepare for that, but the truth is, very few succeed. That's why I want to help her. Her world is still very small. Too small for all the sadness she has to bear. As things are, all she can do is sit alone and think about how happiness is leaving her little by little. About how life has been so unfair to her. I understand. Her world is very small, so disappointment is very large. Yes. Maybe we're already used to bad luck and we know how to deal with feelings of sorrow and disappointment. But this is her first time dealing with any of this. Life can trip anyone up. What's most important in times like this is for us to support one another. Mm -hmm. It seems that Renara is not yet grown up. Huh? What do you mean by that? Time is very important to Nara. Nara walk with time. They remember much and they forget much. But Renara is different. You you know how young Nara think. The warmth in your heart is very pure. And it is fierce like the sun. I believe you are trustworthy, Nara. So, that means... I can bring you out to see our journey. Uh, thank you! Thanks for trusting us. Our journey is in the Motiyama Forest, but Nara out, I think... Might not be able to see her shiny unless she's prepared. It is not very complicated or difficult, though. Let me lead the way. It's not like her mother is worried at the end of the thing. We can travel. has not completely remembered. Memories and dreams are both necessary. Dreams? But I'll never be able to stand again. Even if I can recover, I don't know how long that'll take. Such words are not needed here. Now, Evie, you must remember, dreams are connected to your heart, not your body. My heart? I led it this far, but now Nara Evie must find her precious things by herself. Huh? He's gone just like that? It looks like the sky here has changed somewhat. My heart. <laughs> huh? hard at all and it didn't feel weird it was like how things were before i got sick wait so that means we are we had a dream not our first time in one <sighs> no wonder our apurva said not to worry avin can move freely in this dream wow 
That's amazing! Is this... the power of my heart? How amazing! Now we can all look for Arashani together. Come on, let's race. Let me see how good you really are. I might not have recovered yet. Whatever, let's go! I won't lose, not even to an adult! Well, this was easy. I'm not that she'd need more time. I think is this what they call episodes. This part of the wish. <laughs> That's true. Let's catch up with them. years hmm let's see where should we go next <gasps> look something's floating up ahead it looks like a star does it want us to follow it hmm maybe let's follow it Oops. Chasing after it? You're not feeling worn out yet? Getting tired is part of running, and I love everything about running. huge mushrooms here they're big enough to lie on that's not what they're for let me show you oh so it's for jumping watch this huh? so this is our destination but paimon doesn't see an aranara just this big stone I'm so happy. I almost forgot how it feels to be this happy. You know, at first, it felt like my world had shrunk down to a tiny space. But as long as I continue moving forward, new sights will always appear in front of me. My world will keep expanding before my eyes. Even though I don't know how I did it. I know I have you all to thank. Oh, that's not important. What's important is that you remember the joy of going through the world. Our memories don't just symbolize our past. They can also shine a light in our future. Once you find the hope in your heart again, that happiness will come back to you. Yes. Thank you, Yoimiya. Thank you all. Let's keep looking for Arashani. It doesn't look like he's here. Yeah. Uh, then why would the star lead us here? 
This stone really stands out. I don't know how to explain this. I don't know what it is, but it feels very familiar. Almost like it's a part of me. I know. Could this stone be your earthstone? Er earthstone? Yumi mm -hmm. is good at, at living. Uh, I almost forgot about that. It's a very rare ore that symbolizes a person's aspirations and dreams. Since you can see it, that means you've found what you've lost. Is that how it works? It's just like in fairy tales. I thought I'd stopped believing in those. But I'm glad that I found that belief again. them hey Yoimiya! hey oh, well we have no choice we passed through but nothing seems to have changed uh it's been a while they're having it really has been a while, yes? Arashani? Why do you look sad? Oh, Arashani knows you're happy. Arashani! <laughs> <sighs> the R&R &R is sure of a flair for magical journeys. They not only helped Devine find her best friend, but they also showed us what an Earthstone is. Oh, uh... We have to look for one of our own later, to make the purest lens. Yep. Hmm. It's kind of funny, but Paimon thinks we can actually do it! That's an adventure for you. But Is we have to bring her back to Sumeru City first. <sighs> her mother must be worried sick. Listen, for you is a kitchen dream, for no is your turn to a previous war. Dreamed a most lovely dream. Don't look so lonely. He's right next to you. Arashani, you're still here. Arashani wants to say sorry. It is not that Arashani now want to find Nara. Arashani cannot remember the time. Arashani does not dare enter the city. Arashan did not see Nara Evin, so Arashan thought you have made new friends. Uh, that is normal and unavoidable. It is not something to be grieved. It's okay. I understand. This happened because I lost sight of myself. But I think I understand now. Yoemiya's right. Everyone gets bad luck, but we have to support each other through unlucky times. Thanks for helping me rediscover my memories and dreams. I won't let your work go to waste. <laughs> You've also helped us a lot, so don't be so humble. To be honest, we didn't know where to start with Earthstone. But now that we're on this track, I think we'll find it easy. Yoimiya, you need this Earthstone because you want to see a meteor shower? Yep. Oh, once we find it, you should come with us. If that's how things are... I'm happy to lend you my Earthstone. What? What just happened? Did you just take... Glasses out of your chest? I have no idea what's going on with you. <laughs> How'd you know we need this? I didn't. I just thought that since you helped me find my precious friend, I should help you using something precious to me. 
And then the light turned into this. Is this what you needed? Thank you. I didn't expect us to solve our problem like this. All right, time to give it a go. Not that I know how to use it, but let's see what my intuition says. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I think I see it! Oh, it was, uh, pretty obvious. Come on, I'll lead the way. Once we're done watching the meteor shower, I'll accompany you home. Also, thank you for helping us. Uh, actually, let me scrap the pleasantries and give you a heartfelt compliment instead. You all are great storytellers. Oh, what a coincidence. I would say same for you, Renner. Okay, up there. I follow the wind. So it was extremely reckless to let a child go on top of that. Watching that forever. That was the realest, grandest, most magical dream I've ever had. Paimon, too! Paimon didn't expect you to just pull us onto that shooting star, though. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't think about it at all. I just thought it'd be a shame if we didn't try something crazy. Mm -hmm. 
you you already knew that it was a dream. <laughs> you know me. It really doesn't matter to me if our experience was real or a dream. I really should thank you two, though. You set all this up as a backup plan because you knew that meteor showers are hard to catch, right? Don't worry, I loved it so, so, so much! I think this ranks as the absolute best gift I've ever been given. Oh, whew. that's good. Paimon was afraid you might be angry after hearing the truth. Why would I be? I dreamed about helpful, friendly, cute Aranara. I dreamed that we ran and jumped atop large mushrooms and we discovered Earthstone in a very unexpected way. And when I thought we had woken up, the next part was even more amazing. From her heart, a fiend brought forth Earthstone glasses. We found meteors that blew up from the Earth. And we even became one with the shooting stars themselves. Wait, being a dream? Who's to say we've woken up? That's right! Dreams themselves may be imaginary, but they're also experiences that can never be relived or replicated. If we were sticklers about truth and fiction, we would have missed out on so much beauty and emotion. <laughs> you sure know your way with words! Paimon's gonna bump you up a few places on the Paimon's best friend list! So there's a little more for that. Uh... Oh, yeah! They're so cute! We really have to thank those lovely carvings. The wood carvings? Yeah! If we hadn't seen those wood carvings, then we wouldn't have dreamed of such cute Arunara. Huh. And how do you share a dream? Yo and Mia gets it. I think they're cuter than the carvings. Don't worry, I know. I think they're very cute, and I'm happy to protect them. Well, it's almost time. Let's send her home. After sending Evie home, you and me spend a few more days in Sumeru. A murder receives word of Evie's condition and implements a comprehensive treatment plan. Sooner they have. Sick. Elmurt has help already. Evan is now eagerly cooperating with her care team, and she's feeling more cheerful than ever. The meal's date of departure comes quickly. Evan and her mother also come to the wharf to, to be her goodbye. A nice place. I'll be back for sure. You will always be welcome here. Avine would be happy to see you again. It's a deal. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> you got it. Yoimiya, before you go back, I want to tell you about my new dream. I want to travel to Inazuma on my own. And watch a fireworks show there. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> I didn't expect to be introduced to new customers while on vacation. Don't worry. I'll make you some fireworks that you'll never forget. You do as well. No matter how busy your adventures get, remember to come back to Inazuma. We'll always welcome you no matter when you drop by. You gotta come and watch the fireworks this meteor shower inspired as they soar high in the sky. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Take care, Mia. May all your days be filled with happiness. Fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. Yeah. Oh, why'd you just shout that out? It's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. By the way, have a look at this. Um, our nerd carving. That's right. This is the one you helped me pick. And you said it looked kind of like me. I went to buy another one. This one's for you. I, I Look at it whenever you're feeling down. Writing. Who knows? Maybe you'll raise your spirits. 
If nothing else, you'll know that I'm supporting you all the way. Of course, meeting in person is still better. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'll be heading back now. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. I really loved the trip you prepared for me. In fact, I'm totally impressed. No matter where you two go, I know that our friendship and its warmth will support you. So, go forward. To the end of your journey, and to the ends of this world! See you around! Me, friendly on our carving. Uh, a carving purchase from the uh, car crafts that happens to look like someone you know quite well. Her friend is in kindness and really feel well on Anar's farm. Lives in the spirit of those who look upon the figure with an inner warmth. After their initial success, our Kara crafts has been making constant improvements to their art of creating Anar cards. Experimenting with various colors and design combinations. All part of some happy coincidence, perhaps. Uh, to that friend of yours who came to Port Ormos on her trip, this carving encapsulates the precious memory of your journey together and the fun you had while traveling across the summer. Paimon has thought this allowed at least once after you obtained this new carving. Maybe you'll we'll really see this Arnar in your dreams if we place this carving by the bedside. Okay, now... I wish... I'm more interested in getting Miko. In the new... Cat Girl. Nothing. So, let's try one you Mia. Nothing so far. Okay. Next time I play that, I would probably do Kavis Hangout uh, before going for the event. Because, yeah, there's still plenty of time. Yeah. But I'm out. <laughs>